Welcome to Bros in a Landfill, a podcast full of more awkward pauses than two blokes at a standstill. We'll break down your favorite anime with hard to pronounce names and over explain card games. <laughs> My name is LB, with me the Ash Raichu, Yo. and Dizzy for the ride we would like to invite you to this week's episode in which we'll discuss, I don't know, but we hit 10 subscribers, bitch! Hey! Yeah! Ah, oh, get an encore, brother! <laughs> okay. That was wonderful! Welcome. What's up, homies? Thank you. Welcome to the Bros in the Landfill rap channel. <laughs> yeah, this kind of makes I'm it seem like a I'm glad I let you do rap, this. But I rap... <laughs> oh, no problem. Yeah, Lunch Billion and Char and the Ash Rat Shoe gonna break it down for you, yeah! Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm not glad I let oh, Dizzy do this. The police are coming for us. The police are coming. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, like rappers, man. Sorry, I, I live right I next sing, to the police department. Sing. Well, the fire oh. station. Oh, because I was I listening back to another episode of this just recently that I wasn't in, and this exact same thing happened. Yeah, this it's a running joke. Nobody laughs, but we yeah. like it. <laughs> lunch if you if, if anyone ever makes a special intro for bros in a landfill please add special guest the police <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the lunch oh, police no could you possibly say that's a dead name it is a dead name that's, that's well, just not real. i'm sorry i i honestly <laughs> i catch myself calling you that still because i'm just so used to it so i'm like lunch poli i mean billion <laughs> There you go. He doesn't go by that anymore. All right. I so what changed. the hell are we talking about? Um. If no I'm... one else has a better topic, lunch, I want to absolutely. Uh, I want to hand you a sledgehammer and ask and invite you to join me in my backyard as I destroy Shadow the Hedgehog. I have never uh, played Shadow interested? the Hedgehog, so this is gonna be a fucking treat. <laughs> have, oh, well, geez. have you ever played any Sonic anything? I have. Okay, well, okay. let's just make this an all-encompassing Sonic with an overarching theme of Shadow the Hedgehog. Because I wanted to talk about more than just the game. I wanted to talk about the character, his different adaptations, and the fact that he doesn't make any goddamn sense in Sonic Boom, but neither does anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, this sounds... We're doing like another Sonic five. cast, ladies and gents, and all that beautiful Technicolor rainbow in between. Strap in and get your chili dogs. <laughs> Okay, well, I assume, I assume since this is your idea, you've got, like, a great topic opener for us. If, no, I was just going to... I, I have a lot of stuff I want to get to, but so I don't want to start a topic. Just I, like, like, you're like, I'm going to take about. control of this th this podcast. I know where we're going. No, I'm, I'm like a train. Once I get going, I don't stop, but it's the getting going that takes forever. <laughs> So why don't you start us with your history of how you started playing Sonic games before I interrupt you again and talk about the anime. <laughs> Sounds great. Uh, okay. Do you remember that time when Shadow was in <laughs> space? <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't even say anything! <laughs> okay, when I was a little child, I had a Dreamcast. Um, because... My uncle gave it to me because he used to like review games and shit, and he used to give me give me stuff all the time. He's like that cool uncle that kids pretend that they have, but I actually had an uncle. That gave me <laughs> so we so wow. had a Dreamcast like, and a GameCube. Because uh, I think you said he no, also he gave you Smash Brothers. Uh, I th my no, but I played Smash Brothers for the first time at his house. Um, yeah. but he did also get us a, a PS2 at some point, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, dude, you should totally play Persona Four. <laughs> Damn, Don't do it, Dizzy. Game? Yes. <laughs> but anyways, moving on. I'm, I'm not going to stay on this topic too long. Moving on. Back to the Dreamcast. Okay, uh, Back to your uncle. Yeah, so my, my childhood games on the Dreamcast. And, like, you know, other kids didn't really know what I was talking about when I was talking about Dreamcast games. Because Dreamcast has, like, died Dead. immediately. Um, and so, like... I'm no sorry. Knew, and I guess it wasn't even quite the right generation. Uh, anyway. So, I like stuff like House of the Dead 2 and... Um, Soul Calibur, Shenmue, and Sonic Adventure was like my favorite game as a kid. Um, so that was, that's my introduction to Sonic. Um, though as a kid, like, it was really just adventure that I really liked. Like, I became obsessed with, like, the character and the universe. But, um, I wasn't really into Adventure 2 that much, or Heroes, or, like, 
other Sonic games of that era. Um, I remember getting really excited for uh, Sonic 06 when, like, we didn't know that much about it. And, like, I remember when the reviews came out, I was, like, actually genuinely really upset. And I remember, like, going and sitting outside and just being like, man. Um, so then I guess I stopped playing... I Sonic kind of disappeared for me in terms of games for a while um, until... I guess early high school, I then got back, I got back in with Colors and Unleashed, and since then, I've kind of gotten back and played every single mainline Sonic, so I think I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty knowledgeable, I think. Also, I used to make Sonic fan characters. You heathen! Eh, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, hey, I man. used to do that too, although I, I can't fun. remember any of mine. I probably yeah, I did too, but well, I, did... I have no recollection of of it, or more accurately, purged it from my memory. Well, I used to go on this forum, um, like, where, okay, there's this website called, uh, The Middle Ground, where, like, it was just, it was just a website where they had a bunch of, like, basically Sonic fanfiction sprite comics, which was, like, the shit when I was a kid, and on the forum, like, everybody had their own, I, I guess you would call it a, basically a fursona. Or like they they'd have their own a like, Sonic Sona, a Sonic Son Sonic Sona, and like you know people would like make their own sprite comics and they'd be like, hey, do you want to be in my comic? I'll put you in it. And so everyone had their own like sprite sheet of their character. I um, think yeah, I've seen those floating kind of impressive. around. I always thought that was cool. Um, when I was a kid, I, I liked how everyone had like a little character, and like animations and stuff. Well, like you know, poses. Um, how did I get here? That's that that was like a big part of my early experience with Sonic, I think. And okay. that's kind of the I end of my summary. I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry, uh, I was gonna ask a few. Um... I had a lot of questions for you during it, but a lot of them were based on the the last thing that you just said. Like you said, I went uh... back and played a bunch of Sonic games, so I was gonna say, "Oh, did you play Sonic Battle?" <laughs> yeah, Sonic Battle's dope. Uh, I've never actually beaten Sonic Battle because I mostly played it when I was a kid, and there was a certain level where. I think you're you're in Rouge's bar or something. Rouge has a uh, bar. I remember this. I think. I no, she has a nightclub. I think maybe in Sonic Battles lore, but I haven't played this in ages. But like, it's like a series part of the story with Rouge and a Merle, and I remember that part being way too hard. Um, and I'm, so I I'm guessing that you mean the part. I'm guessing that you mean the part where you have to beat Rouge uh, ten times, or you have to get ten KOs without using any special moves. Is that what it is? Maybe. I well, remember that probably. part gave me a lot of trouble because as my stupid kid brain only knew how to win fights with special moves, so when I couldn't just spam the sonic wave shot attack, then I was like, oh no, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah, so I, that's likely because I got st stuck around that that point. Um, but that game's dope, man. I, I think it's really fun. I think it's really creative. I love how like the world is kind of 3D, but it isn't, and it's a bit like Smash Brothers. Um, I don't know. That yeah, game's you know about super Sonic underrated. Battle, right? Are you asking? Tar, uh, you know about Sonic Battle, right? Yeah, that was the game you played for our Sonic episode, right? For our first yeah. Sonic episode, rather? Our first and our last, because this episode isn't going to happen. I used the Stan King Crimson. <laughs> Boom! Anyways, moving on. Ow, Sorry, I'm really does. hyper today. I can't... Oh, it does Sonic Battle's Tarn, cool. Just trust me. Sonic I've, Battle is cool. Well, okay. I've played. Or like, are we gonna demolish Shadow the Hedgehog with a sledgehammer? That's that's right. That's right. The the only other thing I was gonna say before we start ripping apart uh, the Shadow the Hedgehog, as he so rightfully deserves, I, I have him strapped to this table. I'm gonna I was gonna uh, kill him, but he just has to wait now. That's his punishment. <laughs> he has to wait <laughs> for us to get to him. <laughs> He was upset, but now he's just asleep. Now he's like, eh, whatever. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to be here now. <laughs> but the other, other thing I was going to say cool is, I remember back on Newgrounds, back on Newgrounds, uh, when I still used that site for, like, exactly half a year of my life before I put it away and I never looked at it again. Uh, yes. It might Sleuth be becoming relevant again now. These... Sleuth and I found these, uh, someone made these series of games called, like, Sonic RPG, which was really heavily based on Dragon Ball. That, uh, yeah, that sounds it, exactly like Newgrounds back then. I, because that was, yeah, that was another thing I, I, 
I loved like or stuff like uh Super Mario Bros Z was was kind of like that. Yeah, there's lots of I I'd actually love that. to like make a video or, or like a retrospective on lots of these old like sprite animations. Like I remember there's there's that one like Sonic's Quest for Power or whatever where he keeps getting all these new fucking forms and shit and there's like Mega Man in it. Yeah, ah. That that's a fucking nostalgia trip. Well, the Sonic RPG thing, at, at least as a kid, it blew my mind that someone could make a fully functioning kind of very heavily scripted RPG system thing. Although by the end of the series, it became like three fights and then uh, ten minutes of just people fighting in the forest or people fighting on a tower and you had no player interaction whatsoever. Huh. Well, I and mean, at the end, still Sonic like goes super... And, um... It's What's it's very interesting before? to look at. You could probably look it up on YouTube. Final Fantasy. Why don't you go watch it instead of this podcast? <laughs> it was what? heavily Sonic heavily RPG based on Dragon Ball. Two thousand and five. It was heavily 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 based on Dragon Ball. In fact, the villain was like uh, this evil clone that was created from DNA from Sonic and Shadow, and he's his own new super hedgehog that has the power of both, and I guess he's teamed up with a villain from a different Sega game. That's kind of funny, because Sonic and Shadow already have like the same abilities. Well, it's also funny because he didn't absorb Shadow's ability to ride a motorcycle and shoot a machine gun. Yeah, what the fuck? That's like it. That's that's like the only thing that's thing. exclusive to Shadow. No, uh, he's got lots of stuff. He's he like teleports and he's got like fucking energy, whatever. Um, Sh Shadow the Hedgehog makes me embarrassed about my complete lack of knowledge about guns. Considering when I played the game, I just thought the intro was hilariously edgy. But then I saw, I think, Game Grumps and a. Joel from Vine Sauce and a bunch of other people they played the game and the very first thing they said when they saw the intro was that you can't cock a machine gun <laughs> yeah well <laughs> I was like well I didn't know I feel stupid I don't know anything about guns like me neither I, like, I wouldn't feel this I've tried to play PUBG a couple of times and like it makes uh -huh. sense to me apart from all the gun and gun attachments where like you have to have the right ammunition for that particular gun and it's all like fucking T W seven four, the this is here the six millimeter I, fuck it, I don't know how to do anything. I wouldn't Just, feel so bad about it except for the fact that like every single YouTuber who I saw that played the game all made the same comment. About I didn't the know gun, either, man. And I was like. I was like, is this just common knowledge? Well, this sounds like a segue oh, into Shadow the Hedgehog, doesn't it? Yeah, do, do you love the intro? Where he drives around in a motorcycle, crashes it into an alien, and then it explodes, and then he jumps, and there's a fire and bats. Ah, oh, Shadow was such a dreamy badass. Oh, he's such a hunk. <laughs> oh, baby. Wow. It's, Learned it something is new funny about how Dizzy much... today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, terrible. <laughs> yeah, well, my girlfriend says that Lunch. she likes Shadow better than Sonic, because Shadow's sexy. Oh. Like, huh. <laughs> yeah. He's got a motorcycle. <laughs> I think your girlfriend um, is thinking about this from like the 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 long term perspective. She's like, "Yeah, Sonic's fast on his feet, but if I have a kids and a family, Shadow knows how motor transportation, and he's good with his hands from the way that he uses guns and stuff. Oh, you know, he seems like a more that, skilled that, guy. That translates <laughs> to that. What? He has better precision. He has very good hand eye coordination Shut up. that he can just pick Stop up a talking, gun and, and, and shoot stuff. <laughs> no, keep going. This is great. <laughs> I don't want to hear about how good Shadow is with his hands. <laughs> I don't want to take my girlfriend's thing about Shadow because he's so good with his hands. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> man. That's not, what I, that's not what I meant at all. Like, I, I think I'm thinking about what you're thinking about now, but that wasn't what I, I was feel initially so thinking inadequate. about. Where else? Would, what kind of, like... <laughs> Compliment about your potential partner is he's good with his hands. <laughs> good for maintenance, good for housework. Oh, that's right. I'm fucked. Yeah, okay, I'm fucked up. I'm definitely yeah. fucked up. <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> what? Okay. What? What? <laughs> yeah, that was, All right, so let's me. let's make this interesting, shall we? Let's make this more interesting and okay. get a good dynamic going oh, on. Oh boy. Lunch. You and I 
you and I both rightfully don't like Shadow the Hedgehog, but I'm going to try to make this weird and complicated by making, by forcing a precise back and forth between you and I, and also Tar. I want Tar to be on your side. I want Tar to be on your side during this, where okay. I am actually going to try and defend Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna, this is I'm now be almost like a debate format. Yeah. yeah, this is this is versus mode. Okay. In, so... in the left corner we have lunch police and tar, lunch and in the and right tar, corner we. Thank I'm... you. Okay. Let. Yeah, Sorry. Bitch. Let Let me rephrase that. In the red corner we have lunch billion and tar. In the blue corner we have DSY and Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh. oh boy. <laughs> well, he's just all gonna right. chaos control all of us. No. No, he's. Are you kidding me? He hasn't had that power since uh, Sonic Adventure Two. <laughs> Yeah, well, well yeah, like, say yeah, Sonic keeps track of who has what powers. They don't even know what remember Knuckles' personality is, so whatever. Remember in Sonic Boom when Shadow had Chaos Spear and Chaos Blast, even though Chaos Emeralds don't exist in Sonic Boom? Sir, Chaos Dizzy, doesn't wait, exist. Dizzy, Dizzy, did you forget your Chaos don't exist in Sonic, Sonic Boom? Boom? Like, I never played Sonic Boom, but Chaos Emeralds don't exist? No. <laughs> what they the don't. fuck? <laughs> look, look, look. Where does he get his powers from? <laughs> Dizzy, what side of the fucking ring are you on? Blue. Well, I, I'm, I'm bashing Sonic Boom. I'll, I'll never defend Sonic Boom. I'm on, yeah, I'm on but Team you're, Shadow you're... the Hedgehog right now. Okay, all right. Well, do you want to... Are we making our opening statement about how Shadow sucks first, or are you going to talk yes, about how he's Yes, let's get first? into the debate. Okay. Yeah. Let's go into the debate. I'll just I, agree I with whatever Lunch you... says unconditionally. Okay. Okay. My fr my point number one is that Tar is a massive idiot. I do not <laughs> contest this. <laughs> point number two, I I I think, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog the game is the basically the moment where Sonic, like, fully jumps the shark. Like you can say that the first couple of 3D Sonics are flawed, but. You know, they're ambitious, and they're trying their best, and they did some actually pretty impressive things for the time, and had a soul to them. Uh, Sonic Heroes, uh, again, flawed, but it's creative, and it still kind of knows what Sonic is. Massively uh, flawed. Shadow the Hedgehog, though, is when it seems like a game that was written by a seven-year-old, or like... Like, Probably kid was like, I think to Shadow should have a gun and he should kill Sonic. And they were like, yes, let's put <laughs> all of our resources into making this an actual video game. <laughs> um, it's, it's such a bizarre, like, extreme kind of course correction aesthetically for what Sonic should be to be cool that loses what it actually is. And it's not in on its own joke. It's like, it's completely unapologetically... Straight really faced fucking about it. stupid. Straight faced about being cool and dark. With fucking Shadow's real dad is a fucking Grim Reaper looking alien called Black Doom. And <laughs> it's really so but outside of a story perspective, I think the main sense of the game is that it runs piss poor, runs at like two frames a second, even though it looks like garbage. Um and it has the the regular level design of a Sonic game. But where you just, it's designed for you to run from one end to the other, but then it has objectives that require you to meticulously look for things and to collect all of the coins or kill all of the police officers or whatever. <laughs> and so, like, you can't play it in the way that's fun unless you're going to take the neutral path. But the whole point of the game is that's a moral dilemma. Um, and they changed the voice actors, and that was upsetting because I like the old ones, even though they sucked. <laughs> Even though they suck, whoa. <laughs> well, they're not good actors, but... Excuse me. I mean, they're me. not good actors. Sonic Adventure's cutscenes aren't good, okay? But I like those actors, because that's, that's what I grew up fast. with, and that's hey, what that's I think these characters sound like. He must be using the Chaos Emerald to warp. <laughs> I'll make you eat those words. One, unbro <laughs> one unbroken I'll use it! Cutscene. Chaos Control! <laughs> well, that actually sounded <laughs> like him. Yeah, uh, good okay. I tried my best. Sonic. That, that's what I'm gonna say. What do you got Sonic for me? The Hedgehog right. movie. All yeah, right. Shadow the Hedgehog. So why is Dizzy? Why is Shadow the Hedgehog a great game? 
Shadow the Hedgehog is a cool and interesting character with a dark history. The <sighs> gameplay is <laughs> inspires. The gameplay is interesting and uh, unique and new because of the branching system mechanic, where you don't have to play just the neutral. You you can do whatever route suits you best for the level that you're on. Guns are awesome because guns are awesome, and the gameplay is really realistic because Shadow moves like a person who has no friction and is sliding around the whole world on jet hang on hang on hang on one, one moment <laughs> what yes <laughs> i don't know i'm on a podcast oh oh we're doing this <laughs> try edit this out okay sorry i'm back try okay. just, just edit <laughs> we're, that we're... out please and this too by by the way T uh, Shadow's father is not Black Doom. It's Professor Gerald. Black Doom was oh, just Oh, that's much less person. stupid. It's Professor you... Gerald. Yes. C yeah, come on, <laughs> Lunch. G come on. Well, okay, I don't exactly remember the plot, but didn't, like, Black Doom, I don't know, uh, like, donate some of his sperm? I don't fucking... <laughs> How's this? Oh! <laughs> oh, How's we're he going made? here in a Sonic game. <laughs> Is it, isn't Shadow, like, half alien? <laughs> <laughs> they don't say which half. Doesn't like doesn't hands. like Shadow's origin change depend on what depending on what path you take? Yes, that's right. Shadow the Hedgehog is so good that it rewrites history. <laughs> that's stupid! Because it's like what's the point of having branching plots to see more of the story if the story like changes around you? It just makes it even more incomprehensible, as if Shadow's backstory could get any more incomprehensible. Wait. There's multiple endings, Lunch, so Shadow is good now. But wait, there's multiple endings, so now Shadow is evil. But wait, since there's Lunch, multiple endings, Shadow is now a genetic clone. But, or a genetic yeah, experiment. Do this but wait, there's a true ending, so he's, uh... He's an alien. The true, end the, the true ending is that no one cares what the true ending is, including Shadow, because he's cool and he leaves his past behind. Because this is who I am. Moral message. I just one of my Shadow the Hedgehog's moral parts. message <laughs> is to not be weighed down by the past. Look. And also, by the way, Shadow the Hedgehog didn't kill Sonic. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog didn't kill Sonic, guys, in the opening intro. Notice how Shadow uses chaos control, which he can only do if he's a good guy, and, and he's holding a gun, but Sonic doesn't have any bullet wounds. So clearly Shadow's just avenging Sonic. He didn't kill him. Well, that's a... That's a very uh, confusingly storyboarded series of events right there, then. And by the way, speaking of storyboards and very good scenes, the opening of Shadow the Hedgehog, the actual in-game opening, not the opening cinematic, was so good that it was ripped off in a bunch of other video games that I played that were awful, but that doesn't matter because the point is that they ripped off Shadow the Hedgehog, which means they thought it was good. Y Would you rip saying... off a bad thing? <laughs> It's hard for me to make an. It's hard for me to make a serious argument for Shadow the Hedgehog when I so quickly devolve into cynicism. Cynicism, <laughs> because really behind every single every single thing I just said was basically fuck Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, look, here's here's the thing. Like, <laughs> so that means gonna... Tar and Lunch win. Aha! Victory! <laughs> yes! Great. Um. Look, here's the thing. Shadow the Hedgehog. By the way, lunch. It wasn't seventeen discs. Discs. It was eight. I don't. F I don't fucking you. know. You. <laughs> this game. Okay, not as long ago as I thought, but a while ago. I 100 percented it. You. Uh, I'm. So Look, here's the thing about Shadow. Everything interesting about him, or everything that made him a likable character, was in Sonic Adventure 2, and then. Shadow the Hedgehog, like, takes what was, you know, a, an edgy but kind of interesting character from Adventure and then just makes him into a complete mockery of himself. Like, it just, like, we all have this idea of the Shadow as, like, you know, that angsty, dark character, you know, and, like, he's really easy to make fun of, but it's because of this game that he has that, that real reputation. Uh, Here's my ultimate argument. Here's my ultimate pro Shadow the Hedgehog argument. Okay. What other game can give you a main character that says, where is that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's got a point. Show me another one. I, I, Show me another one. <laughs> 
Shadow the Hedgehog is such easy Plus... meme material. Yeah. Plus, they made Sonic. But they made Sonic the Hedgehog say "damn." So my that point makes is, Sonic this is cool too. this is during a point in the Sonic franchise where we hadn't seen just something so obviously openly dumb before. Like at. And the Santa current, the and we live, okay, we're in 2019. We live in a world where a CG Sonic movie is coming out where he's got these fucking giant cough muscles and he looks like a CG goblin. And then we've, we've had Sonic Forces, <laughs> we've, had, by, uh... we've had Sonic 06, we've had like Sonic Boom the game, we've seen Sonic in so many bad places by now. And so now we can just look at Shadow the Hedgehog and just roll our eyes because, like, oh, it's just another Sonic catastrophe. But it's a fucking catastrophe! And when it came out, Lunch, are you are you going? It was like, are you what going the to fuck see the Sonic this? the Hedgehog live action movie voiced by Butch Hartman? <laughs> are you gonna see the live action movie? I, I guess we're actually talking about the movie now. Oh, are we? we? No, there's there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, go ahead. I guess it. I guess everything has been said about the Sonic movie, but I think Sonic's well, voice actor is a good pick. Wait, they have a. There's a trailer or something already. No, but we know who the voice is. The voice actor is, and oh, I actor. heard some clips of him from some cartoons. I thought he sounds a lot like the first song voice actor, which I really like. Oh, is he? What's his face from from, from Family Matters? What? Steve Urkel? Is he? Is he that guy from? Yeah, is it Steve Urkel no, again? No, it's not Steve Urkel. He was in the fan <laughs> Sonic, which was also oh. weird. But he looked a bit closer. To I was going to ask you before I got horribly off topic talking about Butch Hartman voicing guys, Sonic guys the Hedgehog, <laughs> which was that um, I, I was going to say you were saying Shadow the Hedgehog Hello? is is so blatantly dumb and all this stuff, which is one hundred percent accurate. So but I was going to say I never played Sonic Oh Six. Oh, is back. Shadow smarter or dumber in that game? All I know from is Shadow, Shadow better or worse in, in Shadow the Hedgehog than he is in Sonic 06. All I know from Shadow in Sonic 06 is that he kicks Silver in the back of the head and he says, "Don't touch it." Wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess those are the the memeiest moments. <laughs> I thought the memeiest moment is when Silver catches the Game Grumps in a loop for like two straight episodes, I think, where he just says, "It's no use." <laughs> it's no use. Yeah, it's a. That's a and classic. The, it's not. My, I lost my audio for a minute. So, like, are we talking about Sonic 06 now, or or what? Probably. I was. I was ask. I was asking you to compare the shadow from Sonic 06 to the shadow from Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay. Uh, the shadow. Oh, Sonic 06 is really dumb, but so is Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Uh, shadow. I'm curious, which is worse? There's not. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with Shadow's characterization in Sonic 06. I don't know. He's like just. He's, I guess, a good guy now, and well, sort of, and he's like a government agent, and he's more like modern Vegeta than classic Vegeta. Uh, so he kills Nappa. <laughs> no, oh, that was classic uh, Vegeta. Weren't you listening to him? Yeah, what the? Well, fuck? in Dragon Ball GT, he kills Nappa again. Oh, well, oh yeah, but but I mean, shows but what Vegeta's... I know about my Dragon Ball lore. <laughs> he kills him again. I just learned that from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I I think he's fine in that game. I think Shadow being like an anti-hero who's, well, like, kind of gotten over the events of the previous games and is kind of more just gruff and quiet than anything. I guess it does take away some of what makes him interesting, but it also means he isn't constantly regressing to like have an image. Like Sonic characters don't have like a consistent characterization anymore. Like, I think whenever Shadow shows up in recent games, he's like a kind of more of an asshole like his classic look just because the writers just don't really actually, know what to do with him like he actually yeah it's a good... like a dick yeah actually i was gonna ask you lunch because you play more i think you played more sonic than i do there was a thought process that i had very very briefly a while back where i suddenly had a i, I had a question suddenly which was in sonic forces shadow the hedgehog is like super anti dr eggman when did that start actually Sorry, when did they start calling Robotnik Eggman? No, no, when did Shadow start becoming super anti-Dr. Eggman? Oh. Because I don't remember what... I just remember that being a thing, but I don't remember when it started. I think it started in Heroes. Did Heroes come before or after Shadow? I think it came after Shadow, right? It came, no, it, became, it, came it was before. before. Okay. Shadow doesn't have any... He has amnesia in Heroes, so I don't know if he has a particular 
grievance against them. Does Shadow is Shadow super anti Doctor Eggman? I mean, other he than anyone else, because anti. Eggman's a bad guy. I mean, in, in Shadow well, in, the Hedgehog, in he can fucking Chronicles. kill Eggman, which is ridiculous. But well, in the true in the true ending of Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, Shadow has absolutely no strong feelings about Eggman one way or the other. In Sonic Adventure Two, Shadow is openly using Doc. Well, not openly, but he's using Doctor Eggman to achieve his own ends. Okay. In Sonic. For, uh, but in like Sonic Chronicles, the the dumb brotherhood for the DS, okay, I haven't played that like one. Shadow the Hedgehog's entire personality is fuck Doctor Eggman, <laughs> like that's like all like he is insanely hateful of him. That's and then in really Sonic weird. For- and then in Sonic Forces, he's also super hateful of him. Well, in Sonic Forces, Eggman took over the whole world and is in, like enslaved. Fucking, you know. That's a more reasonable Grant- chance to not like him. I've I've never played Sonic Chronicles. Granted, that game sounds kind of whack. So, the, that game is known for its soundtrack. I have heard some it's of the no soundtrack, negative- and it's uh... it, it's known negatively for its soundtrack. Wait, we're yeah. still talking about. Wait, is this Boomer? We're talking about. Sh- we're talking about Shadow okay, the Hedgehog. Still Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog is the overarching theme of. We're talking about Sonic games that pertain to Shadow the Hedgehog in peculiar ways. Okay. Well, in the modern time, that's not that many games. Shadow the Hedgehog Sonic, isn't in really Sonic... in games anymore. Not really. I was gonna say in Sonic Battle, Shadow was anti Eggman too. In Sonic Battle, like the one of the one of the very first things Shadow says in the entire game is like, make sure Eggman doesn't get uh, the Gizoid. Look, can we just can I just say that being anti Doctor Eggman is not an extremely controversial statement in the Sonic universe? <laughs> he's the no, guy who wants I'm to take over the world. Shadow Why be- wouldn't he be against him now that he's decided he's well, not a so- terrorist? <laughs> No, but like, it's like Sonic, his whole character arc. He's Sonic like, oh, I'm actually, also... I thought I was a terrorist, but I was remembering wrong. I'm not a terrorist. <laughs> you know? No, but like, like Sha- in Sonic Col- in Sonic Heroes too, as well. Like in Sonic Heroes, like Shadow and, Ab- and Ab- Rouge and uh, E One Two Three Omega are like after Eggman. In Sonic Colors for the DS, Shadow and Omega specifically went to the future theme park to try and stop Doctor Eggman. Well, Shadow's a government <laughs> agent now, and the government doesn't like Eggman because. He's trying to take over their shit. <laughs> this is our shit, just, not I, your shit. We run exactly. this shit. Exactly. <laughs> I just, I just don't know when this all started. Uh, just when he stopped being a bad they, guy and they used to be on to the be... same side, and then they used to be impartial. Yeah, and now Shadow's they were on like, the same side Eggman, because he wanted to like him. kill all humans or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. I I I guess I've been. Shadow a lot used to be an ISIS spin-offs. back then, but he's changed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he's a good guy. Hold the... <laughs> Hold the phone. What? Dude. <laughs> don't you remember yeah, that cutscene? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, it's because he. What? He was. He couldn't remember his because he had amnesia in the beginning of the game. And he's like he was had that memory with Maria, and she's like Shadow. You have to. You have to please do it for me. Join ISIS. <laughs> I don't. Maria, I will keep my promise to you. But then he broke his promise, I guess. Yeah, well, he. Well, he remembered was... what the promise actually was. In Sonic Adventure yeah, 2. Yeah, he, he, he got a brain injury on the way down and he forgot what the <laughs> promise was. And then he's like, wait a second. Oh, it wasn't join ISIS, it was join the IRS. <laughs> there we go! Because <laughs> she wanted to. Now, re- where's that Yoshi motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Maria! I might have messed up your promise for a few years and <laughs> might have also killed a few people. Ooh, this is awkward. Mistakes were made. It's okay. Maria's uh, dead now. She'll forgive you. Yeah. Mistakes mistakes were made, just like in Shadow the Hedgehog, which means the only sensible solution is to kill yourself so you can respawn at your last checkpoint and then try to the objective again. And then again. look for more discs. <laughs> This is this is a legitimate strategy, by the way. There are a few levels in Shadow the Hedgehog where you have to chase down a moving, a giant like crate or a moving object, and it, if you take too long, it will escape. But you can then just kill yourself, and you'll respawn, and it will be back again, and it will retain damage. Well, I mean, I I feel like Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow can the game, control time if, by killing himself at will. If there's any defense for it, it's that it's like a metaphor for um. 
or like it's like it's a game about personal failings right and so the game itself is a giant personal failing to represent the theme shadow the hedgehog is a metaphor for life <laughs> Please elaborate. Oh no, I see where this is going. <laughs> Please elaborate. <laughs> no, I, I was going to just say Shadow's a horrible failure who doesn't know what he's doing, and if you don't know what you're doing, you're just going to end up the same as him. <laughs> Wealthy and successful. And so he's like a cautionary things. tale. A cautionary tale about not listening to, to aliens and looking for seven gems. <laughs> And 17 Who did discs. Shadow listen to at the end of Shadow? And 17 <laughs> and discs. And 17 discs. I'm like, fuck you, Charmy the Bee. First of all, why are there 17 discs here in the destroyed island that was blown the fuck up? How do you know how many are here? How do you... What What do you mean, find all the discs? What if one of them is lost or destroyed forever? <laughs> or they just don't work in general? I found six discs. I'm pretty sure that's the best we got. Now, Shadow, we have to find all eight of them. They're definitely all right, all right, still Charmy. okay. Where's that yes, damn it's only fourth been... Seinfeld CD? <laughs> where's that? I thought you were about to say, where's that war? damn fourth Seinfeld? Did bow, bow, I leave bow, it in the bow, DVD bow. player? <laughs> bow, 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 this case had to have a complete say, series. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, where's that damn fourth cyanide pill? <laughs> no. Shadow doesn't want to be here anymore. <laughs> he doesn't need four. He's only a small hedgehog. He probably needs like half Well, he has eight. He has alien blood in him, and he's the ultimate life form, so he really right. needs to down the pills if he wants to die. <laughs> hey, Shadow, I think oh, there's some God. discs over here. And he just puts a gun to his head All and right, pulls um, the trigger. So should we talk he's about like, Sonic oh, yeah, Boom he, he fires the bullet, but the bullet just is deflected by his quills, and he's like, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm wait, the, the ultimate life right. form. <laughs> oh, he, like, dunks his head in the acidic, in, like, the acid. He pulls it back out, and nothing oh, I'm back. happened to him, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm that's back. right. I'm no the life. ultimate life form. What if that's the uh, reason you respawn? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's the reason you respawn? He died, like, Shadow kills himself, and he comes back to life at the checkpoint, and then Charmy's waiting for him, and he's like, Oh, Shadow, there you are. Let's go find some discs. <laughs> and he's like, no. No! <laughs> I dropped out of the call for, like, ten seconds, but it seems like we're still on the topic of Shadow killing himself, so. Yeah. <laughs> well... Well, okay. Well, let's let's shift topics from Shadow killing himself to me wanting to kill Shadow. Oh, <laughs> finally, you rev you love finally him. revving up that sledgehammer, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. Shadow's yeah, Shadow's hot. over there on. The Shadow's what? <laughs> Here, look. I still. I won't say I like him as a character, but he's incomprehensible as a character. So I guess I'll just say I like his character design. I think him and Sonic together, you know, are iconic. And I wish they would make an effort to like use him in a way that isn't terrible. <laughs> like, he's like this big. He's kind of a big deal. He's so popular. Everyone loves Shadow, but like they haven't put him in anything good, maybe ever. Arguably, Depends Sonic Adventure Two, where he was, where he was loved and adored. I guess but Sonic that was Adventure like Two, where he had four ago. levels. Yeah, he's like he Shadow. Had four, Shadow had the Shadow's least had four amount good of levels in his whole life. Game. His whole history. Yeah. At least that was know. a that was good. He's in Sonic Battle. That's a good game. Sonic Battle. Shadow was good in Sonic Battle. I liked well, him in that game. Although his his move set was kind of lousy. Well, the reason Shadow the Hedgehog only got four levels in SA two was because he wasn't even intended to be playable. The only three right. playable characters that were originally intended were sonic knuckles and eggman it's really funny that They're yeah because i've heard about that it's funny how the rest like, of they, them um, the best of them rougher than leather you can call me eggman it, i stole it's knuckles hilarious theme song. That they were like they revealed the game like hey we have three characters and then like because you know like nowadays everyone's like sonic needs to just be just sonic we need no more ridiculous play styles but back in the day there was a fan backlash because this game only has three characters, and the last game had like twenty-seven, and so then they added in all these well, other ones. <laughs> well, it's like the, shows that the whole totally thing there was then. that everyone wanted Tails to be playable. Like it wasn't even about no, no, no. Shadow or Rouge; it was about Tails. Hmm, that's fair. No, guys, the, the the difference is that back then Sonic 06 didn't happen. Back then Shadow the Hedgehog didn't happen. Back then right, <laughs> Sonic Sonic Boom didn't happen. Back they then they right. wanted more stuff. 
Yeah, back then Sonic Unleashed didn't happen. Yeah, but Sonic Adventure on the fishing. Nintendo Wii. <laughs> how come? How come Shadow the Hedgehog wasn't in Sonic Unleashed on the Nintendo Wii? Sorry, I, talk about a missed again. opportunity. What did you say about Sonic Unleashed? Why wasn't Shadow the Hedgehog a playable character in Sonic Unleashed? Because because Sonic Unleashed is is like a soft reboot in terms of like style, and he wouldn't have fit in that game at all. It's like a Pixar movie or something. Well, he, but he was in Sonic Boom. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, in Sonic Don't... Boom, he's just, like, a self-aware kind of joke character, which is what that whole show's thing is. He's so stupid, though. I mean, sure, but Sonic Boom is just a show about dumb I jokes. Thought, I thought Sonic Boom, like, everyone was self-aware except Shadow. Oh, yeah, but I mean, like, Sonic, the, the, the no show is using self- Shadow as... No, no, no. He's the only the second Shadow's most popular character in the whole canon! Yeah, yeah that's so, how No, they, he's not. Tails no, that's, is. That's how they... That is legitimately how Eggman introduces Shadow. Fucking... Sonic Boom is not self-aware. It's self-referential. There's a pretty massive difference between pretty the two. Pretty sure it's self-aware. Yeah. I've watched that show, and I admit that I'm a cynical person, but it's not self-aware. What, what is in itself? What does it need uh, to be aware you of? You can't. You can't just say exactly what you're doing and then frame that as a joke, because then you're just making me angry and wonder why you're going to do it. I don't know. I think it just doesn't take Sonic as a franchise very seriously, and that's kind of just like what it's doing. It's like it's a loose interpretation of the characters. And then they just do what they want. I mean, it's not the most amazing. Show I mean, in I was the world. talking about the game. I was talking about the game when this argument started, but I was I'm bullshitting about the show now. <laughs> oh, because I I, I Scro- totally forgot that it even is a game. <laughs> yeah, th- really? I forgot there's a show. Well, okay, well that makes this conversation confusing. Uh, the game. Well, okay, I, I don't I, fucking. I was saying in the game, Shadow shows up very briefly, says friendship sucks, gets kicked through a portal, and then appears again at the very end of the game, and then just kind of walks away. Oh uh, man, you know what? I fucking hate the the lazy villain motivation of friendship is bullshit if it's not built up. Like fucking Sonic Forces, where like you fight Infinite in the end, and he's like, is this friendship is bullshit. Infinite? And it's like, yeah, you and your pathetic bonds and shit. And it's like, what are you? T- this said nothing to do with what you were about at the beginning of the game. Like. This game isn't about friendship. What is going on? It's yeah, like Persona, they're just writing the, the on Persona autopilot. That I, keep talk- I was like saying, the Persona games that I was talking about, uh, their game's about friendship, and guess what? Their villains don't often say friendship is stupid until Persona 5! Dizzy, no. Don't make me get the ruler. <laughs> okay, fine. But I'm just saying that friendship is stupid is a stupid motivation. <laughs> also, fuck Jaren. Yeah... You're well, weak I mean, because Jaren's you don't the have same friends thing and where... I'm a gray alien. <laughs> no one wants to be friends with me because of my character design is garbage. <laughs> no one wants to be friends with him because he's a stupid, unlikable prick. Yeah, that's, that's so he actually god he awful. Okay. Well, look, I well, hate Jaren. Uh, my bigger problem. Okay, Tar, you were like Tar, Jaren, Tar, you but were like. My bigger problem with Jiren is that, like, if you want to make a a villain who's like, I don't friendship isn't real, then like, you shouldn't make his foil goku who like i mean he has friends but he's his he never particularly drew his strength from or like he's kind of a self-centered guy you know he's and like half of these friends in dragon ball have been irrelevant for like decades i don't know I was say, there are multiple spirit bombs that could prove you wrong or whatever that movie yeah called. i guess how many of but, them worked but it's like, how many of them but worked? goku isn't someone who's One. like thinking very much about bond he just has him like he's the kind of guy who like he's like all right i'm gonna abandon my whole family to train for two years or whatever like okay bye guys i'm yeah. gonna be dead this time because you know like he's too like free-flowing and shit to be like like, he likes his friends, and they're important he to him. He literally said but... that he was angry that his friends had to give him strength so he could fight Beerus. That's true, in, in Battle of Gods. Like, where it's like, that. yeah, that's kind of... I know nothing about my Dragon Ball War, okay? No, I mean... I know, I know depends... less, I know more than nothing, but less than a lot. I just think Goku is kind of a, not the best uh, foil for a character like Jiren. I mean, he does care about his friends, but like... Not really specifically more than anyone else. 
Sleuth showed me a picture once where, so, where Goku was like, uh, I'll, those who hurt my friends, I'll never forgive them, followed by a picture of Goku standing with all his friends, oh, yeah, all of... pointing at all the people who were his enemies at one point. Yeah, all of his friends are people who hurt his friends. Which... Except for Krillin. Anyway. Krillin is the only person he was friends with from the start. No, but Krillin was Everyone else to tried to kill him at some point. Krillin didn't try to yeah, kill that, him, that... but like, he, was, they, he was a dick. He was a dick, but that didn't go for very long, and both of them were children. Like, yeah, Tien okay. tried to kill him, Yamcha tried to rob him, Fre uh, Vegeta tried to kill him, Android 18 tried to kill him, Frieza tried to kill him. Like, Krillin was the only one who was a real bro. Wait, Goku was friends with Frieza now? No. No, but they teamed up. To to save the... Also, I can... I can... <laughs> S segue from okay. Dragon Ball back please, to Sonic. Please, please do. What please is your do. thoughts on... What is your thoughts on Super Sonic and his complete absence from everything after, um, let me check, uh, uh, Sonic Unleashed, I think? No, no, he was in color, uh, well, not in the climate. You could unlock him in colors, and in Generations, he, that was, like, the final encounter. Uh, but he wasn't in Lost it, it World. It looks like a homing shot. Okay, I don't mind them not using <laughs> Super Sonic all the time, because, you know, it gets a bit sick. A lot of these Sonic Final Confrontations are pretty samey, but... It's so weird to me that it's on Sonic Forces. Because, like, like Sonic Forces is, like, the whole story is, like, a really self-indulgent, like, adventure, Shadow the Hedgehog style of Sonic story. We've got the edgy villain and, like, the all the vocal tracks and stuff. I um, like Black Doom more than I like Infinite. Look, well, here's the... What I'm getting at, at is... At least Black Doom got, isn't you, Friendship is Stupid. He's I Want to Rule the Universe. Still pretty generic, but I, I, I'd rather he win than Infinite. Uh, Fuck I you, mean, Infinite. I'm not going to get into an argument ever where I have to defend Black Doom. That guy, he's in the <laughs> wrong series. Um, anyway, <laughs> I just want to say that, like... what Don't we want a custom character to go super next to Sonic? Like totally, that's don't what we you want, want, right? Don't you want your custom character to not? Don't you want your custom character to not be pushed around? You know what? I was gonna say you never played DX2, but I got a lot of DX2 vibes from how they treat your main character in Sonic Forces. They're like always downplaying you, and they won't even refer to you by any kind of name. They just call you rookie the whole game. Well, fuck, they're not gonna do voice Screw acting you, Knuckles, for every name. I have a name. Well, what are, they, the, what are they gonna do? They're gonna get Roger Craig Smith to be like, they're like, they're like, okay, we need you to record every possible character name. It's like, uh, okay, good job, rookie. Good no, job, Jeremy. No. Good job, Doug. Good job, fuckface69. Not even that. You know, like, <laughs> not even that, how are they gonna but they're do constantly it? like, oh man, the rookie can't possibly do this. Oh man, you know, this is too much for the rookie. Oh, we better send the rookie in. Oh, but he's just, he's not prepared. Well, you'd I'm rather like, they I call him Commander Shepard? I just or blew what? through like, eight. I just blew through name? eight bases. What do you mean I'm not prepared? <laughs> Yeah, th I beat up the I beat up infinite. What do you mean I can't handle this? Fuck oh, you! Oh, but the rookie, he's not prepared enough for this. Screw off! <sighs> Shut up, Knuckles. I have the gun. You have nothing. <laughs> I don't know if we should trust that. Rookie. Great he has, job, Gamma. He has I two didn't actual think you eyes. had what it takes to blow up a bunch of dolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's a deep cut. I hate you, Gamma. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you before I destroy Shadow the Hedgehog. He's already really... dead! Yeah, he's dead. I'm going to pu I will put him back together and then destroy him. Gamma's way better than Omega. He is. Gamma is better than Shadow the Hedgehog, the 2005 video game. <laughs> okay, um... I'm not saying he's better than Shadow the Hedgehog, the character, but I'm saying that the concept of the robot is better than Shadow the Hedgehog, the 2005 video game. Do you wow. agree or disagree? I agree. The concept of Shadow the Hedgehog, oh. the 2005 video game, is one of the worst things to be conceptualized. <laughs> so, yeah. How? And Gamma was Shadow the, the best character be in SA1. Fight me. I, d I remember like, like uh, going on the internet as a kid and like looking up a guide to find Shadow in Sonic Adventure One, and it was like, oh, you need to like jump inside of the train station, and then you need to like jump over here and then come back. And I'm like, it's not fucking working, you fucking liar. <laughs> he didn't exist yet, but I still tried it. Yeah. <laughs> didn't they mod him in? I swear someone modded the Shadow in. I'm sure somebody modded Shadow in, but this is like this isn't uh, that. No one was modding the game when I was a little boy. 
Well, I was going to say, like, on the topic of Shadow the Hedgehog, the 2005 uh, game. Yes. Uh, do you think the game could be fixed, or do you think it's broken to the core? Uh, well, I mean, like, fixed? I mean, like, to what degree do they get to fuck with it? I, I feel I I was gonna say like like this like the premise is the same a lot of the same things are the same but like how they went about executing them were different or do you think that the very foundation of Shadow the Hedgehog is itself flawed? Well, it sounds just the... to me, from what little I know of the game, that the very foundation of the game is flawed. Well, I think maybe because you said more. Of a, sorry, oh, okay. You going? Oh, uh, you said like all of the same story beats happen, right? Yeah. Le yeah. What do you mean? Like how they happen, or in this analogy? I don't know what you mean by that. So um, we are. Oh, I, I do, do you mean? Okay, let me let me rephrase that then. Are you saying when you say all the story beats happen? Do you mean? in the actual game itself, or do you mean, from my question, do you think Shadow the Hedgehog could be fixed if you, you know, if the yes. story was the same, but you changed the execution? The second one? Uh, yeah, the I second think the second one. one. Right, let's operate into that. Yeah, if it was still Shadow had amnesia, he had to get the Chaos Emeralds, Black Doom was still whatever, but it just, they went about it differently. Do you think it could still be salvaged, or do you think that that alone is just... Dead in the water. I think that alone is just dead in the water because I think I'm also assuming that all of the multiple endings occur in roughly the same fashion. Well, there is the true ending. There is the, there, there is the true ending, but I mean, and the and the fact that both Shadow and but the fact that both Eggman and Sonic are still alive after Shadow the Hedgehog also means that the hero and neutral and that none of those endings happened where Shadow either kills Sonic or Shadow kills Eggman. Yeah, but Eggman. they're in the game, right? Yeah, they're in the game. Like as possible. Look, I just think that like but they're they're not the true ending, so I guess they technically are non-canon. Yeah, but in which the which really is a kick in the balls if you wasted a bunch of time getting all those endings. But who would ever be dumb enough to do that? I think you're missing the point. It's, we're not asking if those endings and all these soybeats are all canon. Just if they appear mm -hmm. in this new version of the game. This hypothetical. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. Then I think it's in the water. I I think. You'd need to like basically start from the very beginning of the concept and just redo everything almost. Um, like, or not do it at all. The fact that Shadow kills Eggman in some of the endings is like just so absurd. It's so wrong. It's so at odds with like what Sonic is. Um, and it's just kind of dumb shock value for 13 year olds. Also, um, um... The fact that the the, the 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 path you takes influences Shadow's origin kind is kind of fucked up. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, if, the, if you do the straight neutral ending, then Shadow is revealed to be a robot. But if you do any of the diverging paths and still end up at the last level of the neutral path, then you then suddenly Shadow is a robot apropos of absolutely nothing. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't know, uh, like, again, it's a branching path, so whatever decision you make dis determines the next level you'll do. So it's possible to get the last level of the straight neutral path without being straight neutral. So you can have a stage where Shadow is just out of nowhere laughing to himself and being like, yes, all the pieces are coming together. I'm a robot. <laughs> and you'll be like, what? Suddenly so just has a nervous breakdown, eh? I'm sorry, I was just in cyberspace and <laughs> yes, then I was defusing I'm a robot. bombs in a city. I was in cyberspace that I was defusing bombs in a city that I had to help Tails say, stop the President of the United States from being assassinated and now Shadow is a robot. All the I pieces totally are coming don't... together! <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally forgot that there is literally a mission in which you, like, save the President from being assassinated. This game is... <sighs> You either save him from being assassinated or commit the crime yourself. Yeah, you can kill the president. This game no, is you can't. genuine. This is a game I try that that <laughs> like don't, don't it completely me, unironically opens he's, the start he's, he's screen fine. with a gunshot sound effect. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> gunshot sound effect. Uh, <laughs> Bang. 
I mean, I am all I am I all think of me. It's just a gift upon humanity. No, it's uh, not. It sucks. It's a it's it's a bag full of dog poop left on humanity's front doorstep with the fire. <laughs> But here's the thing, Shadow the Hedgehog is so incompetent that the fire went out before the owner of the house opened the and door. And that is the gift. <laughs> this has been bros in a landfill? Are we oh, done are we already? Done already? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not the host! <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I, just I thought we were still it? gonna go on about Sonic Boom and stuff. Well, you, you, said, okay. you said in conclusion, so you messed us oh. up. <laughs> it sounded like we were putting the final... Cherry on top of the pile of dog shit, man. I thought the, I, was I thought say, we were we... just done with Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I was gonna say we, we we could go on as long as anyone wants. If you want to stop early, we can. If you want to keep going, we can. I mean, if we have wanna, hit about if you want our to, usual runtime, just a little bit short. If if you want to prop up Shadow's lifeless body over the student center, you can't. That's a crime. And if you want Shadow and Sonic, and you you call them up in a motel. You get together, they'll both say no. I tried this. <laughs> they, they're not interested. <laughs> they're not interested. They'll they'll tell you no. It's all right. And if you keep calling them, then Shadow will come, but he'll have a machine gun. Oh, a, a pump action machine. And he gun. won't be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he'll have a machine gun, and you won't call him back ever again because you won't have a phone anymore. Oh. Well, that's tragic. Will you have well, a, just, will, you just you just won't have a phone. Shadow is against killing unless it's Doctor Eggman and only if he's a robot. <laughs> okay, well, what are we talking about anymore then? If we're gonna have, I don't know. Extra, Do you want We'll put an extra hurrah. Now that we've talked so much about not ending the podcast, I think we need. <laughs> it would be weird if then it just ended. So I think we need. A, well, they try could just cut all that that's out. That's true, but. Is he probably won't, because Niggling for topic. some reason I will. he endorsed this stuff. Well, sometimes I edit stuff, too. He likes waffling, huh? Well, <laughs> he, he, well God damn it! I don't he know enjoy, if we should Try and enjoy because... squandering our joy, just like Sonic Boom. Is this... Is this the fuck try, Castle? Yes, fuck okay. try! <laughs> Alright, here's one, here's one last activity, okay? One okay. last activity. One last activity. Is, are we gonna Photoshop what, Tri's face onto Sonic the Hedgehog? Here's yes, do my it. activity for you guys. Um, <laughs> you guys are going to take turns listing traits, uh, and then at the end I'll draw a Sonic fan character based on those traits, and then I'll, we'll put it in the video. Oh! <laughs> So, you know, you can what? say right. red skin or, you know, tuberculosis or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> tuberculosis? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. It's your character, okay? <laughs> Just take turns listing it's things. Our down. character. Wait, Dizzy. What? This is our chance. I'm gonna start. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I already have my own original OC right here. <laughs> Oh, well, look, oh, just... Right, right. Oh! You have oh, a lot of power right adorable. now. <laughs> he's beautiful, and his name is Rexy. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Uh... We need... That's a... He's adorable. He's great. <laughs> Treasure him. And this is Ben Gross in a landfill! <laughs> <laughs> No, um, give me your give me your things. We, we'll okay, just this okay. one last activity. Um, he... Right. I, uh, male... Mail. Dizzy? Oh no! What are, what are, what are, what are you doing? I, I I plead the fifth. Okay. Uh, make him a mouse. Mail mouse. Oh, is he gonna be Ralphie the Rat? Yes. <laughs> no. We Ralphie forgot about him for some thirteen episodes, but he's back and ready to do absolutely than... nothing. He's ready to do everything <laughs> vigorously without protecting. Okay, I'm gonna go kill myself. I hope you're happy. And this is Ben Bros in a landfill. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. I'm tying the news. No, Dizzy, wait, no. I'm too ashamed. All right, I'm so I'm drawing ashamed. a male mouse who's ready to do everything rigorously. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. There we go. <laughs> Signing off. Signing oh. off.